Well, sir, one of the problems that I have when we go to the cabin in the winter time is that I turn off the water from the well and I blow all the lines out so they won't bust while we're away because I don't keep the cabin heated. I saw something like this on YouTube and I thought, you know, that's kind of neat. And I started working on this contraption and it's just a two gallon pressurized lawn and garden sprayer. And then I got some hose, some hose clamps and some copper or brass, I guess they're brass fittings. And was putting that together. Then when I was at Myers, I found this and here's the cool thing. It's long and flexible. It goes even longer than that, but look at that. That could be a shower and you pressurize it. Now here's the exciting thing. When you don't have water in the winter time and you have two gallons, <laughs> I have water to take a shower. Oh, my darling has water to take a shower because sometimes you get tired of doing a sponge bath. You just, if it starts slowing down, you repressurize it and there's two gallons of water. You can make it hot or cold. I don't know why you'd take a cold, cold shower, but I am just as proud as a peacock about that contraption and it can stretch out further the the rod there can stretch out further and the head actually twists different directions and you can use it for other things rest assured that i did get a brand new uh brand new sprayer this is not anything that i've used for anything like vegetable sprays or anything like that in a brand new two gallon lawn and garden sprayer never had junk in it so that's it i'm just as proud as i can be and when i go down hopefully this next weekend or sometime soon i can take this with me and you know i could i could even actually take it camping and uh if there's not a place to to rinse off i could take it and glamp with it so y'all probably are going to make fun of me for thinking of another way to go glamping but i'm going to brag again look at that water and a shower <laughs> and the pressure goes down all you have to do to get more pressure of course is pump this up and i'm almost out of water in there because i was just trying it out and i will tell you that oma darling tried it out not on herself but on some snow and she's glad for it also <laughs> so if you camp it's really kind of a great idea i had to heat up the hoses a little bit with a hair dryer so they would be pliable enough to get the fittings down inside and then i used little hose clamps to uh to put them all together but i'll just show you so i i did this and i had to have an adapter there and then i did this where i put the two together you can see water going up where it's pressurized and then I just got I think I paid nineteen dollars for the uh, for the tank and I paid about ten or eleven dollars for the sprayer thing so when I'm down there without any water in the winter time I will be able to take a shower that's all bye